Welcome to this first time setup guide for the Infinite RS series desktops, equipped with Intel's 13th gen processors and Nvidia's GeForce RTX 40 series graphics. Please note that there may be minor differences due to adjustments in production and sub-model SKUs. When opening the box, you'll find the extra power cables for the power supply, a quick start guide, and accessories located on the top of the system. You will also find a keyboard inside located next to the system. Remove those items and set them to the side. The easiest way to remove your new Infinite RS desktop from the box is to tip the box over and let gravity do the work. Once the desktop has been removed from the box, remove the two foam paddings and the cloth covering, which is held on by two Velcro straps towards the bottom of the system. Place the desktop on a flat surface and turn your attention to the interior of the system. You'll see an inflated foam packaging that is meant to support the interior components during shipping. To remove the foam, first pop the side cover open by pulling on the side of the case. Once the side panel is open, gently work the foam packaging out of the case. While the side panel is open, you can inspect the cables and components to confirm that everything is still firmly seated. General things to check are the cooler mounting points, CPU cable, 24-pin power cable, memory sticks, graphics card cable, and front I.O. headers. In the accessory pack, there is a power cable included. Please plug in the cable to the back of the system and the other end into the nearest power outlet. Grab the keyboard and mouse and connect both devices to the back of the desktop. If you're planning on using the Wi-Fi built into the system, you may screw in the included antennas which are found in the accessory pack. Or if you plan to use an Ethernet connection, go ahead and plug in the cable at this time. Next, connect your monitor to the graphics card ports which are located under the motherboard I.O. Once everything has been plugged in, hit the power button which is located on the top of the desktop. If everything has been plugged in correctly, you should notice an MSI logo pop up on the display. The monitor will then show a Windows initiation prompt to set up your computer. Please follow the instructions to complete the process. Just a heads up, there are I.O. ports located on the top panel of your new desktop. You'll notice a power switch, a reset switch, USB Type-C, headphone and microphone jacks, two USB 3.2 Gen 1 Type-A ports, and an LED button. The LED button controls the RGB components that are connected to the included ARGB controller. To enable Mystic Light software mode, hold down the button for 3 seconds. To disable the RGB, hold down the button for 6 seconds and the light should turn off. Once everything has been set up, don't forget to register your product on our website. 